Welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> so today I am. Uh, this is my updated version of how to install liveries. I know some people said it didn't work. Some people said the last video did work. This is. I figured it'd be better to do a updated second version. That way, if it worked for you the first time, awesome, you're good to go. If it didn't work, uh, hopefully I can kind of step you through it and give you an idea um, what's wrong, or maybe uh, you know. I, maybe I did something wrong in the first video. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to first tell you how to find out where your game is installed. Because you'll need to know this. So, the if you don't know where it is, um, which I know a lot of people are, especially with Steam. Because you could have installed it, like myself, in two different places. Steam, uh, the launcher is in one place and the game itself is in another. No biggie. Super easy way to find out. So, what you want to go to is you want to launch the game and hit Options. And then go to general and under general you hit developers T just simply turn that on and you apply that you got this nice little toolbar up here which is actually good for some other stuff besides this you want to hit tools and virtual file system and it'll probably look like this and the second one down says watched basis so you can see here um, through seam I have it installed in three places Chucky that's the, from what I understand, that itself is the launcher. So pay no attention to that. You have here FS2020 official Steam and FS2020 community. So what you need to do is, as far as I know, there's no way to like open this up via here. So just uh, write down where it is, if you know where it is. And then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and let me pull it up. So this is where my game's located. So we have FS2020, double click, and we have official and community. Official is everything that um, a Sobo has made. So we have the tutorials, the sim objects, uh, the airplanes, uh, as well as the airports. So you want to go to community and double click community. As you can see, I already have one mod installed. So what you want to do is once you're here, you want to go over here to um, this website, msfsadam.org. Link will be in the description and you'll come get the livery mega pack v4 and then what you want to do is you want to come here and hit download and once you get downloaded it'll look something like this and what we're going to do is we're going to come back to this community tab and you just want to drag and drop and let's go take a quick second and then we're going to drag the Cessna one over. And so you open it up, you see sim objects, airplanes, Grand Caravan, and then sim objects, airplanes, Sobo A320 Neo, and all the beautiful new textures. And if we come here to the original livery thing I installed, same thing, airplanes, a Sobo. So very simple. And that's how you do it. Now one thing I do want to show is if we pull this back up, as you can see, I had the office open and another tab is watching that for a few minutes. Um, this is another way to kind of find out where your Microsoft thing is. Um, shout out to msfsaddons.org for this screenshot. Um, so what you want to do is app data, local packages, Microsoft.flight, underscore, some weird number. I, from what I understand, that I think it's the numbers and letters are different for the person. And then your local cast packages and then your official community and then once you're in community same thing drag drop you're good to go so i'm going to quickly restart my game and i'll catch you back in uh, about three minutes for me and like one second for you okay welcome back so what you want to do is as long as everything happened right go to your world map select just some random airport as departure and then we're going to go over here and uh find the a320 neo and click liveries and there we go lots and lots and lots of liveries tons of them so uh i'll just pull up a couple and uh, show what they look like in game and uh if this helped um i'm glad it helped don't forget to drop a like and a sub if you want to see more microsoft flight sim 2020 content uh it helps out the channel a lot and so until next time you all have a good one goodbye